Brazil is a country in need of expanding its railway system. Currently, only a little more than 20% of cargo travels on rails, compared to almost 70% on the roads. There are just two long-distance passenger train lines. Brazil's railway industry is hoping to secure private capital to improve future railway development after changes were made to the regulatory framework governing investment and operations of railways. Before the new regulation, investors needed a state concession to build and operate any line. Now an easier to get authorization may be enough. 39 have already been issued. Here at the NT Expo, a railway industry conference in Sao Paulo, there is optimism that many will actually get built. The president of the Railway Industry Association says it hopes to double its share of the freight over the next 10 years. This would require annual investments of about $10 billion. We see movements that indicate investments of billions of dollars to allow us to increase the share of railways. We'd have gains in sustainability, in logistical efficiency, in the reduction of carbon emissions, and also in cost reduction, as transport is cheaper in trains than in trucks. At the NT Expo opening, Brazil's transport minister said the government will do its part. The Ministry of Transports is going to increase fourfold investment in railways this year. We need to reduce the cargo transport on the roads and expand the share of railways. There's also more investment planned for urban transportation on rails. Chinese company BYD will supply the trains and systems for two sky rail lines in Brazil, one in Salvador, planned to start operation in 2024, and in Sao Paulo, where work began years ago but has recently been halted again over a contract dispute. It's one sign of the many challenges on the way to growth. But BYD says it trusts Brazil's market and is ready to get equipment running when the infrastructure is in place. Many mayors would like to have this kind of the project, but in the south of Brazil, uh, they have interest in the center of Brazil now, so we have interest. So we are looking for new other projects here. Brazil is a vast country and hopes this is the start of a railway revolution. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.